This is a video on how to use contour in Cricut Design Space to create multicolor layered images for cutting. I'm going to do a fireworks image. So I googled fireworks clip art. I narrowed it down to black and white right over here. I think it's easier to work with a black and white image. If you look at this image here, um, it's harder to contour this because if you can see the little the little dot right here it's connect it's touching that line so that's going to be one cut so if I wanted the dots to be red and the line to be blue I wouldn't be able to do that because it's one line so I'm going to choose a different image I'm going to choose this one because none of the lines are touching so I'm going to right click, save image as. I already saved it under fireworks clip art. So now I'm going to go over to Chrome, which is what I prefer when using Design Space. And I'm going to select the upload button down here. And I'm going to upload image and browse. I'm going to pull up fireworks clip art. I always save it as a complex image I'm not sure if that's really the best way, but I know that if there's any other colors or layers hiding in there that I can't see, the complex will make sure that I can see it. So I'm going to press continue. Now I'm going to go up here to this little wand. I'm going to select it and I'm going to click here. That removed all of the white space. Now I want my stars solid, so I'm not going to click inside the stars, but I see a little some writing down here. So I'm going to go up here to my zoom. I'm going to zoom in a little and I'm going to scroll down and then I'm going to go back over here and select the eraser tool. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and I'm just going to click and swipe it away. Now I'm going to press continue. A very important step here is make sure you're saving it as a cut image and I'm going to just put fireworks. I usually use a lot of tags, but for this, I'm just going to save it as fireworks. So I save it and it's going to come right up here in my uploads and you can insert the image. Now you can also go to images and search fireworks, but since I'm going to use it right now, I'm just going to pull it from my uploads. Now I'm going to make this red, blue, and silver. So I'm going to duplicate it twice. That way I have three layers, one for each color. I'm going to select my first one. I'm going to go down here to the right and I'm going to select contour. I'm going to get rid of all of the stars first. You can also select them over here, but sometimes depending on your image, it's hard to see them. So I like doing it right here. And then I'm going to get rid of these bigger lines because I'm going to make those blue in the next step. So make sure you get all of the right ones. See how they get a little darker when you select the right one. So then I'm going to go over to my layers panel over here and select the little color blob. I'm going to change it to red and then I'm going to hide it with the little eye. Close that. I'm going to pull my next layer over and I'm going to go back down here and click contour again. I'm going to get rid of the stars again and then I'm going to get rid of the thin red lines that we already turned red. So once we do that, we can exit back out of here in just a moment. And I'm going to go back over to my layers panel. I'm going to change this to blue and I'm going to go back to the eye right there and hide it. And for my last layer, I'm going to bring it over and I like to bring it over here so that if I'm using the contour, I can see a little bit of the image there. That way, if I do click anything wrong, I have a better chance at seeing it. You can always come back and contour. You're not losing anything. You're just getting rid of it for right now, but if you pull the same image up, I'll show you in a moment. 
all the lines are still there. So, oops, we're gonna hide all contours and I'm not paying attention. We're just gonna pull the stars back up. So that is our final layer. I'm gonna get rid of that because it still keeps one contour, one cut line, so the image is still visible. So now that I have that layer, I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to select the gray and I'm gonna leave it. Now I'm gonna go back to this one and I'm going to unhide it. I'm also gonna show you right down here, we're gonna go back to contour and you can see how all of our lines are still there. So if you made a mistake, it's easy to go back and fix it. So I'm gonna line this up just so you can see. And then we have the red, so we're gonna unhide that and there's your layer. Now when you go to make it and you see that you've got all three mats with all three colors there ready for you to cut.